Um, I want to show you some fun things with our base 10 blocks. So we have been learning that this little cube right here has a value of one. We've learned that. And we've also learned that this is a tens rod. It is worth 10. So we have our ones and our tens. And we also know, we've learned that this guy right here, this is worth 100. It has a value of 100. So we have our ones, our tens, and our hundreds. But I don't know if you knew that, watch this. If I take one of these, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I take my ten ones and I put them all together, I put them all together here, my ten ones are going to be the exact same size as my tens rod. Do you see that? My ten ones equal the same as my tens rods. So ten ones equals 10. Now, if I do the same thing with my tens rods, if I take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So now I have 10 tens rods. Now watch what I can do there. I take my 10 tens rods and I put those 10 ten rods down here on top of my hundreds block, my hundreds square there. Look at that. So 10 tens equals 100. So my 10 ones equals 110 and my 10 tens equals 100. So now I have my hundreds here. Let's look at this hundreds block. Let's look here at this hundreds block. We'll see if we can focus this a little bit better here. There we go. That looks better. Okay, so I have my tens, my ten tens, or my one hundred ones, because if ten of these equals one hundred, and ten of these equals ten, that would mean I would need a hundred of these to equal one hundred. So there's a hundred ones in this hundred square. So then, if I take and look at my hundreds, before we do that, we've been talking about 1,000, and I want to show you what 1,000 looks like with our blocks here. So I don't know if you can see, do you see this big, huge cube here? This big, huge cube. This is 1,000, 1,000, and I want to show you something here that we can do. So if I just look at it from the top, it looks like exactly like a hundreds, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It fits just like that right on the top. But if you see, if I turn it on an angle, my 100 is only this big and my 1000 is this big. So let's watch. If we took 10 ones to make 10 and 10 10 tens rods to make 100, what happens if I take 10 hundreds blocks? 10 of those, let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now if I have 10 of those, does that look a little bit more like my thousand block? My thousand block there, look at that. 
So the reason I wanted to show you this is I wanted to point out when you look at this thousand block right here, sometimes we only picture the blocks that are on the outside edges here on the outside edges and we forget that inside here are all of these hidden ones all of those hidden ones are in there so 10 10 hundreds equals 1000 so it's the same as 1000 that's why we call it a base 10 number system because 10 ones equals 10 10 tens equals 100 and 10 hundreds equals 1,000.